Louise! 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 God, you scared me, please. I'm scared too. There's an alarm going. There's fire arms in the kitchen. What? Are you cooking something? No, I'm not. I just came in here and laid down. I'm just... Uh, honey, you gotta be more careful. You almost burned the house down with you in it. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember doing it. I was probably Bree. She burns everything she cooks. Uh, Bree, this is in New York for Fashion Week. She's not gonna be home until Sunday. Okay, Louise, just a few more questions. Of course, Dr. Carell. Doc, I understand you need to be certain for your diagnosis, but please, you're killing us. Okay. Okay, we won't know for certain until the test results come back, but from, I'm afraid from everything you've told me so far, I've pointed to one conclusion. I don't understand. How can that be? Louise is so young. Yes. But there have been a number of cases where those in their 50s and 60s have been diagnosed with it. You know, one study suggests that those that have suffered some kind of severe head trauma, brain injury in their life, are more likely to experience early onset. Louise, at any point in your life, have you suffered an accident where you injured your head? I have when I was much younger. It wasn't exactly an accident. Get me another beer. Aren't you gonna be late for work? Late for school, late for work. What are you, the damn clock? I have to be, Gonzalo, and we can't even afford one. We spend too much money on this shit. I gotta find a new one. This carpet cleaning business, it's going too slow. Gonzalo, you got fired for coming in drunk again? Yeah? Well, how the hell are we supposed to pay our bills? Maybe you should go out and clean some more houses and get out of my face. I'm not gonna clean houses forever. I have an interview at the diner this afternoon. I'm just trying to help you, to help us. I want more for our son. More than this. He's got a roof over his head. And so do you. That's all I had growing up. But what? That is all he needs. We ain't gonna turn him into a little brat. You forgot your shoes, baby. Oh, 
How's my baby today? Great. Look what I made. Oh, this is wonderful. Really. My little artist, you're very talented. Mama, what's talent? Talent means you can do something well. Your talent is God's gift to you. But what you do with that talent, that's your gift back to God. So, what do you want me to draw for you this time? One of those fancy dresses that girls wear. Why do you always want me to draw you dresses, Carlo? I could draw you a ship, you know, or a race car. I could draw you a jet. Because I want to know what kind you like. I'm going to buy him one when I get bigger. You promise? I promise. some new ones. Really? Yeah. Sure. My damn head's killing me. Where's the damn aspirin? We're out of aspirin. <clears throat> what have you got there? Nothing. I was just making some oatmeal. This late? Well, it's not exactly like we have a full menu around here to choose from. Go get me some. We don't have any money. You work today. Give me what you made. Do you want to go play with Jimmy next door? Okay, Mom. Just be back for dinner. Okay, Mom. Bye, Daddy. Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't make that much today. I don't give a shit what you made. Give me what you made. Now! I need to buy some food. I don't give a shit. Give me the money. I don't give a shit what you need. Give me the money. Give it to me now. yourself. Oh, and you remembered your shoes, huh? Come here. Well, I'm very proud of you. Mama, you got a lot of boobies again. How come you always fall down? Oh. Well, don't worry about me. I'm okay. Your mom has always been a little clumsy. See? Makes me feel better already. Now let's go to the bus stop. I'm a big boy. I can do it. Are you sure? Daddy always says I should start walking by myself. Well, your daddy isn't always right. But I'm ready. Okay, then. You go. Love you, Mama. Bye. I love you, too.
baby. Wake up, baby. Mama? It's, it's time to go, my son. Gotta go to school? No, it's Saturday. But we are going on a trip, and I need you to get ready. But I want to sleep. You can sleep in the car. And please put your shoes on. I need you to hurry. Where are we going? Is Daddy coming with us? No, he's not coming. But I don't want to go. Carlo, I need you to listen to me. We need to go now. Okay? Okay, Mama. Thank you, baby. Can I bring Coco? Of course. Can you tell me about your work history? Okay. Fred will see you now. Mr. Fred? No, ma'am. He just goes by Fred. There's nothing really Mr. about him. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you, baby. Kiss me. Mm. Uh, oh. Come in, please. Have a seat. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Louise Connor. I'm here to apply for your fashion Love designer. Oh, the shoes. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm. I brought these from a friend. Yeah, well, she has great taste. Yeah. Hey, Couture, what size are they? Uh, an eight, I think. Mm. So I saw you had a job opening in the Sun Tatler. Uh, those is on your heels? They look French. Probably Paris. On. Uh, collect shoes. Oh. Not for me, all for work anyway. I just um, adore them, They're really nice. Look, I um, I really want to be a fashion designer, so. Do you have a license? A license for, I mean, no, I didn't actually know you needed a license. No, for... darling, I mean a license for that hideous outfit that you're wearing. I mean, thank God for the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I, this whole time I was afraid it looked like it came from a secondhand store. And did it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Sabrina. I'm probably sure it didn't look so hot firsthand either. Well, I am going to get going. I have a few more job interviews today. Uh, you know what? For someone who's friends with someone with such great taste in footwear, deserves a chance. Show me your best designs. 
Just one. Oh. Yeah, oh. Something that goes with the heels, not the dress. at like 3 a.m. I'm telling you, we'd be better off on South Beach. Okay. All right, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, look, I gotta go. I just got to my mom's appointment. Okay. Bye. Well, Carlo, I'm surprised you're even here. And sober. You know, contrary to what you and your dad believe, I'm not the worst son ever. This isn't even about me or dad. Bob. He's not my dad, remember? Of course. How can anyone forget? You remind him every opportunity you get. I'll let them know you finally made it. Excuse me. Carlo's here. He's out of time with Breeze. My Carlito. It's always running late. Come on, Carlo, I can't be late. I'm meeting my new boss today. It's almost your birthday, honey. Baloney again? Have you thought about what you want? Not bologna and cheese. I mean for your birthday, silly. Here. I don't want this. Buy me lunch today. Carla, we've talked about this. I can't afford to buy you school lunch every day. Why not? All the other kids get it every day. No one else brings their stupid bag lunch. It's very expensive to send you to Catholic school, and I cannot... Forget it. I never get what I want. That is enough. You get plenty. I just asked you what you wanted for your birthday. All you have to do is tell me. Anything? Uh, anything within reason? I want to talk to my dad. You ask for the one thing that I cannot do. Just, just take this and buy your lunch today. Good morning. You look good, okay? Yeah, you just have to impress him, not sleep with him. <sighs> mm, unless you're about to fire your ass and spread him wide. You guys, you're so messed up. Hell, if he is cute, maybe I'll sleep with him. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, any word from BRY and Sons? Yeah, it would be really impressive if we got our line in there. Well, then color this bitch impressed, because we are in like Flynn. No way. Check it out, baby. No way! Yes way! Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's got a nice beat. Not, not sure I could dance to it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Hall, you the new boss. And you're both fired. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm fired. Oh. I am your new boss. I totally sport dancing oh. on duty under my circumstances. <clears throat> Pleasure. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so, what are the circumstances? Well, after all these years, BRY White Sense has finally agreed to feature my clothing line in their stores. Mm -hmm. yeah, we Our have, clothing line. We have a preview next week with their executive buyers. Mm -hmm. 
That is cause to celebrate. <laughs> wow. Hey. Oh, all right. <laughs> Test results are back. I'll be right back with them, all right? You okay? Yes, I'm just tired. Where's Breeze? She's outside with Carlo, remember? Of course. Of course. Sweetie, what time do we have to be there? <laughs> I've had an hour and a half. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna make it. No, we're gonna make it. Just. All right, hold still, sweetie, okay? Trust me, I do not want to poke you. Oh, I bet that's the first time she's heard that and it was ever true. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you seen Bob today? No. Hey, he was looking for you earlier. I know, he's been looking for me a lot this week. Huh? Could be, he's just interested in your clothes. He's interested in clothes I'm wearing. <laughs> He is kind of cute. Yes, he is. But you know the problem with office romance is... Honey, what problem are you talking about, okay? If you have a sex in the boss's desk, trust me, he won't mind at all. Damn it, Fred, we gotta hurry. All right, ladies, don't worry, I'm not gonna send you in there naked. That strategy might get us some attention, Louise, but I don't think it's gonna sell us many clothes. Good afternoon, Mr. Hall. I told you guys. It's just Bob. I like you for Neil and Bob. I can see you guys are very busy. Yeah, we're trying to get ready for a beer. Why and Sons to be this afternoon? Uh, I know. You need a hand. No, absolutely. That's I insist, not necessary. I insist. I insist. Deadline. Thank you. So, Louise. Just hold this right here. Oh. Don't move. Oh, okay. Wow. We're very good at this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? He said thank you. Yeah, thanks, Fred. No problem. So, I was uh, saying... Move your left boob over for me, sweetie. Anyway, I, I, I have this awards banquet that I have to go to this weekend, and I was wondering if you'd care to join me. Um, she but, said I'd love to. <laughs> you don't have to. I understand. No pressure with me being the boss and all. No, Fred got it right. I would love to... I would love to go. <laughs> I can't promise the banquet will be any fun, but I'll do my best to show you a good time. Well, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We're all done here, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I want to bring the van around, ladies. We're going to knock him dead. Thanks. No worries, sweetie. <laughs> you gonna learn real quick who the real boss is. And it ain't him. That's nice, Fred. I'm not that bossy. Off. Yeah, just like I'm not that gay. I really hope I didn't just make a mistake. Oh, no, sweetie, you did. Don't sweat it. You won't know till you're looking back at him 30 or 40 years. <sighs> Thank you for another lovely evening. You should, um, you should come inside. I have this great bottle of Merlot I've been saving. <laughs> you're a devoted mom, it's on amazing clothes, and you know your wines. What other hidden talents do you have? Well, maybe if you're good, you'll find out later. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do the honors, I guess. Right? Thanks, yeah. You... Don't have to answer this, but um, did Gonzalo ever lay hands on him too? No. 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 God. I mean, that's the reason I finally left. I was just, I was terrified that he would start to take things out on Carlo too. Did you ever, ever tell him? I mean, Gonzalo did to you? No. I will one day. It was just, I just, I think he's too young right now. Let's have a drink. Sounds good coming out. <laughs> it 
Smells great. Thank you. Mm. You know, you should tell him. He's a smart kid. He'd understand. Yeah, I know. I just, um, I don't want to burden him. He does not deserve that. Uh, he deserves another sacrifice you made for him. Well, like my mother always said, when it's time, it's time. Of course, you're his mom. You know what's best for him. Thank you. I think I know what's best for you, too. Really? What might that be? So sorry, it's Louise. It's not your fault. Carlo? Carlo, can you please open the door? Open the door right now. It's gonna be okay. Just, just give him some time. I'm really happy Carlo's here. Frankly, I'm surprised he's here at all. The way things have been going lately. Resented you for taking his father away. And resented me for trying to be one. I know. And I'm sorry for that. boss is doing? We'll be doing just great as soon as we deduct your little shopping spree from your first paycheck. Oh, God, Bob. It was a graduation gift. Anyway, the best way to get your life organized is to start with your closet, right? Oh, so true. Fine, fine. I give up. So I hope we bought you something nice then. Oh, you did. And uh, thanks for being so generous. Mm. Mm. We just started a DVD. Would you care to join us? And watch old people making out? Ew. This isn't a movie about old people. Oh, I, I wasn't talking about the movie. <laughs> so fresh. Show us what you bought. Huh? All right, all right. Since you forgot to take my black strapless dress to the cleaners, I had, like, nothing to wear tonight. I'm sorry. It completely slipped my mind. I have a million things going on. They've been working night and day for two weeks. I'm sure Carlo can help us get things organized. Carlo? The only thing he's concerned about organizing is his social schedule. Did you have a good time today? I did, yeah. yeah. The restaurant was great, thank you. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yes. What are you doing? Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, stop it. Can we just watch a movie or there's something? There's nothing on TV. I don't have any movies. Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. Okay. I'm gonna hear it. Oh, God. No, it's my mom calling. No, it's really my mom, seriously. Hey, Mama. Oh, nice. Bob? Uh, your mom's name is Bob? No, it's my stupid stepdad. He calls from my mom's phone, so I pick it up. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, no, I, I can't do it tonight. I'm sorry. I, I really can't. I'm not going to be able to get down there. Uh, listen, I'm right in the middle of something, okay? <laughs> Bob, I'm not going to come down. Call Bree. She can come down. I'm not going to be able to make it. I've been hit. No, I got company. N no, I'm not going to. Bob, it's just not real good for me tonight, okay? Fine, I'll be here in 20 minutes, bye. Hey, it, it looks... these are really good. Yeah, let's not look at those. Okay? Sorry. Well, it's fine, I... I'm just, look, I gotta go, but maybe we could, uh, you know, just finish what we started real quick, huh? Oh, I'm <laughs> sure your hand will be plenty fast enough. Are you kidding me? Not tonight. So, uh, 
Where's Carla? She'll be here any minute. I've already been waiting 20 minutes. Yeah, considering we're choosing runway miles a day, I expect you to be the first one here. Gonna take long? I don't know. That depends. How many miles did you book today? I booked about. Um, I can't remember. I wrote it down on a sticky note. I can't seem to find my sticky note either. You need a sticky note. I'll tell you where your sticky note is. That's okay. It's no problem. Let's do a headcount when I come out. All right, let's get rolling, all right? No problem. Since we're already behind schedule. Okay, bring them up, please. Come on. Go. Maybe I need to get one of those electronic organizers. What are those called? Raspberries? <laughs> the blackberries, huh? Carlo, take your sunglasses off. It's rude. Does it matter? Wow. No, I like that one a lot. For the show, as a bedroom accessory. Shut up. Sober up. Enough. You know, we're trying to run a business here. Yeah? Good. Because when this little thing's over, I need my paycheck. I thought you just had yours direct deposited to that strip joint of yours. Uh, you should have used yours to stuff your bra and save on a silicone. Did you sign the checks? The checks. It's Friday. Don't tell me you forgot again. Payday? Oh, God, payday. I did. I'm sorry. I did it again. Just let me write a note so I don't forget. So what did Carla want? The usual. It was a waste of time. Did you hold my the checks or did you want? I know. Exactly, take care of me last week. What? What is that? I need this job. Yeah. Well, I need something too. Yeah, maybe if uh, you come over tonight, we can. Uh... You're a pig. I thought you liked me. You wanted to help me. I liked you. But I'm not some whore that's gonna sleep with you for a job. Fine. You're not one of our models either. Carlo. Bob wants to see you. Why? I didn't ask him. What can you find out? Well, I'm not a secretary. Or yours. Well, maybe you should be. I'm sure you have plenty of skirts at home. I don't really need any other jobs around here. I do enough that I don't need to feel guilty about collecting a paycheck. Something's wrong. Can you look at this? Yeah. 
to be some kind of mistake. <laughs> Can't be over Dawn's not possible. No, I know. I mean, do you think somebody has stolen our identity? I keep... I told you not to bank online. Yeah, no, no. And I've told you a thousand times to shred all of our documents and you insist on keeping them all in the office. Just get off of me. I don't give a shit what you need. I don't give a shit. Give me the money. Give it to me now. Yes, stop. See what happened here. You paid our bills two, three, four times. No, that's impossible. I couldn't have done that. Darling, this is your handwriting. It's not. I don't remember doing this. Okay, 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 shh, 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 hey, 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 it's okay, I'm gonna figure this out, okay, look at me, look at me, So you treat women like they treat us any better carlo sooner or later they all leave they're all the same they get what they want and then they go someplace else to be with someone else that's because you don't really care about them did you come here just to give me a lecture because i don't need one i'm a grown man i don't need to be mothered okay we all need to be mothered sometimes about what happened yesterday. I don't want to talk about this. Carlo, what is wrong with you? Huh? You have everything. Money, a career, a nice car. You never even had to struggle like I did. You chose to struggle. What? When you left Dad. Everything was fine until then. Oh, are you kidding? You know, I had to work three jobs sometimes because your father couldn't even keep one. We could barely afford food. I was ashamed. I had to buy your clothes and your shoes at a thrift store. We were in a hole that we would still be stuck in, and I pulled us yeah, out. Yeah, well, if you were so unhappy, then you should have left by yourself. Go and found all the men you wanted. I never had a choice. You have no idea. What I... You know, it, it's you. It always comes back to you. You're selfish, you know that? You always have been. That's why you took me away. That's not fair. Not fair? 
You want to know what's not fair? The fact that I have been searching for my dad for years and can't find him. I may never know him. Thanks to you. What are you doing here? I came to invite you to a family dinner on Sunday. I think we all need to talk. A family dinner, huh? I see you guys plenty. Besides, I think I have plans on Sunday. I'm sorry you feel the way you do, Carlo. But I am still your mother. And I do love you. Yeah. all the fuss about. Mom, nothing you're wearing matches. I except maybe Grandma's old plaid couch, but that's about it. Well, no, I, I don't know. Maybe I saw this in a magazine. Uh, if I saw something that looked like that in the mag, I'd cancel my subscription. <laughs> well, um, I'll go change. It's, it's no problem. We don't have to leave yet. Do you think mom's okay? She's been acting kind of odd lately, and even for her, it's, it's not like her. Yeah, you're right. Hey, I'm not getting any younger, though. Yeah, but you're not acting like that, and you're a lot older than she is. Hey, don't remind me. I don't know. Maybe we should take her to see a doctor. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. That's great. That's, that's what? Can't you tell? She's the new secretary. <laughs> she looked better in a skirt than me. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, really? I don't quite believe that. You know what? Come, sweetie. Uh, the people from Mary Rock is going to be here in a minute, and we have to make some more adjustments. Wait, can I, Anna, can I talk to you for a second? Please. Look, um... I'm really sorry about what happened the other day. Really? 
because I'm sorry about the other night. You know, there's only one thing I'd let you kiss now, and you'll be staring at it when I walk away. The blue dress is phenomenal. I really want to use it. Let's go. You guys are late. Oh, look, the pot's calling. Uh huh. Where's mom? Um. That's funny. She was just right behind us. Oh, maybe she had to go to the ladies' room. Go check if she's okay, please. Okay, can you help us? Yeah. What's going on? Everything's fine. Here, give me a hand. The bar's gonna be here any minute. Hey, who, uh, who hired that girl, Anna? <sighs> Your mom did. Why? I'm just wondering. Well, stay away from her son. She's incredible. We don't want to lose her to swim to a company like the last girl you tried to sleep with. No, shut up. And stop calling me son. What? Maybe you should turn your hearing aid up to a seven. Whatever. Mom? Mom, are you in here? Where is everybody? Mom? She was in the bathroom, waiting for the meeting to start. What? Is she okay? Hi. Well, you know, we always conduct our meetings in the showroom. Yeah, of course. What the hell's going on? She's under too much damn stress, that's what. Then stop working her so hard. You think this is my fault? Your mother wouldn't have to work so hard if you acted like a man that did your job. Bullshit. I do plenty around here. Oh, of course you do. You procrastinate on every assignment I give you. You try to, to sleep with every model we hire. You only want to dine the female buyers. Carly, you're so bored. Why don't you go take a vacation? You know what? If my mom asked me to help out more, obviously you don't know your own mother very well. She puts more pressure on herself than anyone ever could. She'd work till she was keeled over before asking for help, especially from her own kids. Right. This is my fault. It's always me. It's never baby Breeze. Breeze? Breeze may be younger than you, but she knows a hell of a lot more about taking responsibility than you do. You know what? Everything was fine between my mom and I until you guys came along. Then you should know it better than anyone. But you never take the time anymore. You don't know a damn thing about our relationship. All I know is after everything that woman has done for you, you still treat her like a stranger most of the time or a damn ATM! Right. Because she's done so much for me. Spit your damn mouth! Stop it! I remember things. Bye, Mama. I'll call you later. You need to stay. Carlo! You need to kiss my ass. Excuse me. Let's see it in here. I think your designs are very innovative. You're all very talented. And we're looking forward to representing your line in our stores. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, ladies. Let's go. Thank you. Mom's not okay. I don't know what's wrong, but we need to take her to a doctor. So try to act like you care. Okay, let's see what we have here. See in these dense areas here? That's a buildup of proteins. Now these proteins are very harmful. They result in plaques and tangles. 
and cause cognitive decline. I'm afraid my previous suspicions about Alzheimer's were correct. I'm very sorry. Right now, there is no cure, but the good news is that there's a number of drugs on the market right now that can help delay the progression of the disease. To prescribe them to me. I can't. I can't give up without a fight. I won't. That's the attitude to have. She's a tough cookie talk. She always has been. <laughs> Starts with forgetfulness and followed by confusion, and then the patient starts to wander. The final stage is severe Alzheimer's. Essentially, the patient can no longer communicate at all and requires total care. And this will eventually kill me. The most common cause of death in patients with AD is an opportunistic infection, pneumonia, septicemia, the most common. Or the patient gradually stops eating and their body functions start to shut down. But that's years down the road. What can I do? You know, in the meantime. Support her. Make sure she's taking her meds. Read to her. Take long walks together. Make sure she doesn't experience any falls. In cases like this, that's when they can have terminal consequences. I understand. I advise that you keep trying to understand her world, even though that's the biggest enigma in this illness. I believe that even through their decline, those with this disease keep trying to communicate with us in the simplest of ways. Uh, Blink, a look, a touch. We're gonna fight this. We would have this one more together. We're gonna get through this too. I will fight. I will fight. Dresses, Carlo. I could draw you a ship, you know, or a race car. I could draw you a jet. Because I want to know what kind you like. I'm going to buy you one when I get bigger. You promise? I promise.
Honey, what are you still doing here? I thought we agreed to, you're gonna cut back on your hours. I'm working. Being here all the time is not good for you. You need your rest. I want to work. Anyway, I, I need to finish the design for the new winter collection. I'm sorry. It's just, I mean, <laughs> sure. I should know better by now not to interrupt your mid-design. Can you do this? Yes, finally. It took a while. It's great. You still got it. Now go home and get some rest, please. You gotta, you gotta stop, okay? <laughs> stop? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby, I haven't even started No, no, yet. I, I just don't wanna do this, okay? I do something wrong. No, I just, I just don't wanna do this anymore. Fine. We do something different then? I, I just don't wanna do this at all, okay? You just have to leave, now. Fine. But no calling me again, unless you have a fashion show. Baby, don't worry. She had terrible technique, okay? <laughs> Here, I could teach you a thing or two. <laughs> oh, Fred. My life sucks. Yeah, hell of a way to get a promotion. Yeah. And you know, I like my other position a lot better. It's never here past five o'clock. Listen. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I've known you and your mom a long time. You know, I still remember the day you hired her. I hadn't seen her that happy in a long time. Mm. Yeah, she was very persuasive. <laughs> you know, I, I can't believe she gave you her shoes. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Oh, I still have those heels. Uh, and they still fit. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyway, if you need me, I'll be here. Just give me a call. I will. Thanks, Fred. You should call her. She's a good girl. And she likes you for you, not what you could do for her. How do you know that? Honey, many a truth is revealed by naked girls when they change their clothes. Where's mom? She's upstairs sleeping. It's time we started making some plans. Plans? I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry, Breeze. We're gonna keep things positive. Anyway, your mother and I are revising our state plan and getting our wills in order. I thought we were gonna be positive. We are. But in light of what's going on and the fact that no matter how hard I try, I'm not getting any younger. We just want to make sure that you guys are taken care of, both you guys and the business. Of course. Always concerned about the business. You are so insensitive. We need to be supportive of whatever, well, whatever our... dear Daddy Bob says? No, of whatever our parents need. Okay, enough. There's one more thing. I'm hiring somebody to help out with your mom. Dad, we don't need to do that. I'll do whatever I can to help. Breeze, you do too much already. You have your hands full at work. Your mother needs 24-hour care. I hired a nurse for her. She came highly recommended, and she starts Monday. Man, but I can no, do no, it. No, no, no. The, the most important thing to your mother and I, despite whatever's going on, is that you guys don't stop living your lives. Well, which is it? Because with everything I have going on, I don't have time for a personal life. That's funny. You seem to have plenty of time for Anna. Shut up. 
It's none of your business. You know, you must really have her fooled into thinking she's anything more than bed warmer of the week. She seems like such a nice girl, yet I don't know what the hell she sees in you. Breeze! Dad, he needs to hear it. Apologize. Sorry. Look, we're all under a lot of stress. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Your mother and I need you. You don't need me. You need an accountant and a marketing guy. For once in life, can you just think of somebody else besides yourself? I don't have to listen to this shit from you. I have raised you like you were my own son. I don't and need I to put up this bullshit! You are not my dad. You never have been. And you never will be either. Well, just let me finish. I've never treated you any differently than Breeze. And I never expect you to treat me like your real father. Well, how would I know how to do that? I can hardly remember him. I'm done here. I quit. Carlo! No, 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 no. Let him go, let him go. We'll respect your wishes, Carlo. What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna take Carlo's advice. What? I want you to find a good CPA, then get a good marketing firm. That'll help you focus on the lines and the models. That'd be great. Thanks, Dad. I'll, I'll get right on it. Okay. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. All right, well, I'm gonna go check up on him. Check everywhere. I checked everywhere. Come on out there. It's okay. You're home now. This is where you live. Your family's waiting for you. found her wandering near Alton Road. Thank you so much for finding her. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Honey, you scared us half to death. Hey, come on, let's get inside. Dad, you are right. Mom needs full-time care. You look lovely as usual. Thank you. This was the last bottle at the wine shop. Marlowe, your favorite. Oh, my favorite. Please make sure that all the swimwear is cleared out of my office. I just want to start making way for everything for the fall. Sure. Thank you very much. Some of these will be buyers to arrive. Sure, show them in. <sighs> Great. So what we got? We have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You guys ready? Okay, I'm gonna model the men's line for them, okay? I can't believe we're gonna be in Sophie's store. Sophie, stop, bitch! Ah! Honey? 
Honey, where are you going? We were eating dinner, and all of a sudden she just stood up and left. Her symptoms are getting worse, I'm afraid. What could she be thinking about? Miss Louise? Come. How about I take you up to get ready for bed, okay? Things are easier at work with the added help, but I, I mean, I know it's stupid, but I just wish that... I wish that Carlo was there. Yeah. Speaking of Carlo, any luck? Mm, I'm working on it, but these things take time. Have you seen him lately? He comes by now and then, see your mom, but he doesn't stay very long. Dad, it's so hard. It's like mom's there, but it's like she's not, she's not the same. I know, I understand. We just we have to make the most of the time that we do have left with her. Mom loves eggplant. I don't know why. Her meds are ready, Miss Thanks, I'll take them up to her. Okay. And I'll get this ready for you. Thank you. Hey, Mom. It's time for you to take your pills. You don't want to. You have to. That'll make you feel better. so bad now, was it? Did she take them? Yeah. Good job, Miss Breeze. You know, because she can be a bit stubborn at times. Oh, sweetheart. It's okay. You're doing everything you can. I know, it's just... She's becoming more and more forgetful. Sometimes she doesn't even recognize me. I'm sorry. I know. I've been doing this for a long time, and it doesn't get any easier. I just wonder what's going on in her head. 
What's up here doesn't matter. It's what's in here. And she knows you. And she knows you're there, even if she can't show you she knows. Okay? Thanks. So stop worrying. It's okay. Where's Bob? He's in a meeting at work. Oh, no, he's not. We're getting ready to go on our honeymoon. Get your hands off of me. Don't touch me. Mom, I don't know you. Let me help you down, though. I don't need your help. And stop Mom. following me. Mom! She's recovering very, very well. The pin's been inserted in her hip, and everything looks good, physically at least. Should they walk again? Oh, I believe so, but I'm much more concerned about her head injury. It's difficult to gauge the effects this can have, especially on an Alzheimer's patient. When can she go home? I know this is a difficult decision for you, but I'm recommending that she go to a nursing and rehabilitation facility where she can get the care that she needs at this stage. Yeah, but we have Angela. And I'm sure she's done a wonderful job. But quite frankly, this job is much bigger than one home health care professional can handle. The doc has a point. You should hear him out. The obstacle that has to be overcome in the care and rehab of 80 patients is that they often forget what their therapists teach them. So it takes longer than it does in healthy people. Yeah, but there has to be another option. I think this is the very best option for her at this point. Now, I know you have a lot to talk about as a family. What are you doing here? Did you get lost? I come to see Mom plenty. I just make sure you guys aren't here. Stop this! <laughs> Don't do this in front of your mother. That's what matters. She can't hear anything anyway. Yes, she can. She can hear everything and understand everything you're saying. I'm telling you. I've heard stories about it. There was a man who was in a coma for 20 years, and one day he just woke up. He knew everything was said to him. He heard everything. He just, he couldn't express himself. He said some of the exact things were told him when he was in a coma, and the doctors, they cannot explain it. I believe it's the same with all Alzheimer's patients. I believe their subconscious minds. They can recognize the places and the faces of the people that they love, but their damaged mind just can't communicate what they want to say. Not everything can be explained, you know. That's why we have faith. Man, you're crazy. I mean, face the facts, Bob. She's so out of it, she doesn't know what the hell's even going on! Dad! Dad. You will not disrespect your mother! How's she doing? Any better this week? No, I'm afraid not, and since she's no longer responding to therapy, the doctor's discontinuing treatments. I'm sorry. Thank you, anyway. You guys have been great, and our family knows you did the best you could. You're welcome. Maybe it's time we took you home. You want to come home? You know, the blue in this dress really brings out your eyes. And what about your hair, Mom? You want me to style it up? Mom, I hate this hair. No problem. 
Let's try something else here. No, my hair sucks. You have my hair. That's perfect. Oh my god, he's <laughs> right. <laughs> God. You look beautiful. Beautiful. Wait! Come here. Close your eyes. Go. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't forget your curfew. Okay. I'm gonna be here waiting up for you when you get home. Okay. Please, just let me know you understand. Mom? Breezy? Hey. Getting a bath needs to take a break sometime. I, I know, it's just, I'm in desperate need for a new designer and all these applicants, that, they all suck. They all suck, they all suck. How you holding up? I'm tired. I'm tired, Fred. I think... I think my mom knows that she's dying. That's why she wanted to come home. I mean, we have Angela to help, but it's my responsibility to take care of her. I'm her daughter, and... Sometimes if they give you <laughs> lemons and you make lemonade, and they give you shit and it just it stinks. <laughs> you know? Fred, we're losing her. We're losing her more and more every day. Dad can't even bear to come to the studio and the business that they're starting to build, it's starting to falter, and I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's all right, sweetheart. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, convince Carlo. Carlo. <laughs> he hasn't spoken to me or dad in months. He could care less. He barely even visits mom anymore. Your sister? Did you check the laundry room? Why? Breeze? I won, Mama. Carlo didn't find me. <sighs> Take your feet off the table. Goodness. Don't you ever do that again! Look how much trouble you caused! Look at me! It was a joke. Can I have my game back? No, it wasn't funny. And you have no idea what it feels like to lose someone you love and not be able to find them. I really hope you never have to experience this. Dresses, Carlo. Because I want to know what kind you like. I'm gonna buy him one when I get bigger. You promise? I promise. I promise. I
It's good to see you, Mr. Carlo. Come on, John. You want me to stay with you? No. I'll be on with you. Come on, sweetheart. I'll fix you something to eat. Your models always look hungry to me. I want to tell you. It's a good battery. Yeah, don't. Yeah, thank you. He seems so upset lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Glad to see you here. Thanks. How's Louise? Not so good, Mr. Bob. Not so good at all. Son. Who are you? Dad? Finally. How'd you find me? I, I didn't. No, I tried for so long. It was Bob that found me. What? What? She's still so beautiful. Dad, I... Uh... Carla. I... Wait, before you say anything, I need to apologize to you for not being there, for missing out on so much of your life. You don't have anything to apologize for. It was mom who took me away from you. What? She broke up our family, it's not. No. Oh my God. What's the matter? What's the matter? You okay? I wasn't a good father. I was young and poor and drunk and stupid, so stupid. I treated your mother. No, I mistreated her badly. What are you talking about? What I did to her, you away from me, so that I would never do to you. What I did to her. What do you mean, what are you talking about? I, I she I, left you. She took me away from you. It's her fault. No, Carlo. You have it all wrong. I'm so ashamed. It was so long ago. But I can admit it now. I abused your mother. I don't remember much because most of the time I was drunk. I drank every night and sometimes every day. Why? I don't understand why you would do so. I thought, I thought, I, I just assumed that your mother had explained to you why she left me. She didn't tell me anything. I just always thought that she... 
He's here, Mom. He's here with us now. He, uh... He told me... He told me everything. He everything I'm saying. I love you, Mom. I love you. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Carlo, but it's time for her meds. Her hand's cold. She, she's like ice. What's the matter? What's the matter with her? Thank you all for coming out to support our new line. Buy all you want, we'll make more. <laughs> but I couldn't have done all this alone. Breeze, come on up here. <laughs> Not only is she a great sister, but she is the best business partner anybody could ask for. 
And we'd both like to thank our dad, Bob, for all his guidance and support. Oh, and then finally, retiring and sticking us with all the bills. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my wife, Anna, for breathing life into my designs. And finally, I'd like to... <clears throat> I'd like to, um... I'm sorry. <clears throat> We'd like to dedicate this line to the greatest woman that we have ever known, our mother, Louise. You know, she used to always tell me that talent was a gift given to you from God. And what you did with that talent was your gift back to him. I finally know what that means now. You know, even though my mom was in her own world, she never left mine. And I hope she's up there looking down upon us at this moment, smiling. Pray for the light to shine, bringing you back into my arms again. 